In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can link the same filter to pivot tables made from different data sources. So in this example, I have this sales data data source, which is basically sales information for different sales reps by region. And then I also have this other data source, which is basically leads reached by sales reps. So I'm going to create a couple of pivot tables and have them both on the same sheet first. So I'll just go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to select this table, go to insert, make a pivot table, and we'll place it on a new sheet for this one. I'll go ahead and use sales as values and as rows, I'll use region. I will remove all the rows without regions on this one. So I'll go under filters, go to region column and choose filter by condition and do is not empty. So this way we want to make sure that if region doesn't exist, let's not show that in this table. This is optional. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this anyways, just to make it look nice. So this would be my first pivot from the sales data data source. I'm going to go ahead now and make another one next to this from this leads data data source. So I'll just go ahead and select this, go to insert pivot table. This time I'm going to do existing sheet and I'm going to click here, go to pivot table three, and we'll just position this wherever we decide it's a good position for this. So for example, here, I'll click there, press OK, hit create. Now as values on this one, I'm going to use leads. That would be this column over here. We'll just sum it up and we'll probably do something with dates over time. So I'll just go ahead on the rows and add date. And yet again, we could filter out any data that doesn't have some sort of value in date column if we wish to do so. In this case, I'm going to do that. So I'll just go filter by condition and do is not empty. Hit OK. Looks decent. You could group your dates and things like that. I'm going to leave that up to you. You could watch other videos to see how to do that. Right now, we want to have one filter for both of these, which will be the salesperson. So we have sales reps column here. We also have sales reps column here. So we would like to have one filter here that we can basically choose and that would filter both of these pivot tables at the same time. So I'll just go ahead and name this sales rep and we need to create a drop down here for this. To do so, I'm going to create another sheet and I'm going to call it drop down or whatever you want to call this. It's really up to you. And I'll start by having an option all to have all of them. And I'll continue by getting a nice unique list from sales data and leads data together. So to do so, I'll just do equals unique. I'll create an array by adding a curly bracket. I'll go to sales data, select sales reps. About this much is good enough. I'm going to drop the end reference like so. I'm going to do a semicolon and then I'll go to my leads data, which is my second data source. And again, select starting from second row and go down. I'll just go down up because I cannot click here. So again, starting from the second row down and I'm going to drop the end to basically push this all the way down. I'm going to close curly bracket to finish this array, close parentheses and hit enter. And this should basically give me a nice unique combined list from both of those data sets together. Now at this point, I could add some sort of sort to have these sorted alphabetically if I wish to do so. And that should be our list we're going to use. So now that I have this list, maybe let's just move this here and pivot table, move it here. Now we're going to use that list here as the options for our dropdown over here. 
So I'll click in the cell, go to data, and go to data validation. List from a range is good. I'm gonna click in this box, click in this little thing, go to that drop down and select this whole column A to basically just have all of these values as my drop down options. Press OK, click reject input. So this way they cannot type some random stuff in the cell, hit save. And at this point, if I go to my pivot table three, I'll just rename this to report. We'll have this drop down with those options. Now, right now, that drop down does nothing at all. But let's just go ahead and, for example, pick one of these options, Isabella. So, what I'll do, I'll click on one of these pivots, go below, and under filters, I'm gonna go ahead and add that column, which is sales wrap. And here, I'm gonna open this and do filter by condition, and we're gonna choose the last option custom formula is. And here we're gonna choose the formula. So I'm gonna start with equal sign, and the column I want to filter by is called sales wrap, because there is a space, I'm gonna add single quotes around the name. You don't have to do the single quotes if there are no spaces in your column names. In this case, I do sales wrap. So I want that to be equal to this choice here, which is G2 cell. So I'm just gonna type G2, like so. I'm going to copy this formula because I'm gonna need that in a second again. And I'm just gonna hit okay. So you can see how this was now filtered. Now this should just display now results for Isabella. Now that doesn't do anything for this table. So for this table, we're pretty much gonna repeat this. So I'm gonna go under add and under filters, I'm gonna choose that same sales rep column. And here we're gonna choose again, filter by condition and choose custom formula is. And we're gonna create our formula, which should be again, referring to the column. Now my column name is exactly the same in this other data source. If it was different, you would just choose the right column where the reps are and then point to this G2 cell again. For me, it's exactly the same formula. So I'll just go ahead and do this, press okay. And now we should see how this is also filtered to Isabella. Now at this point, what should happen if I switch this to say Edward, both of these will filter to Edward. If I go to Jennifer, both of them are gonna be Jennifer. Well, you can see where this is going. So now we can basically choose all these options the only problem here is that if I go to all, it is not gonna work because currently it's trying to filter to the sales rep called all. So to handle this, I'm gonna go to this first pivot and we're gonna change our formula a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to this filter and here what I'll do, I'll do an if statement. So I'll say if, and I'll point to this cell G2. So I'll say if G2, equals all, which is that option I did, comma, then I want to show all of them. So I'll just do true value, comma. Otherwise, I'm gonna use what I had. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close parentheses here, like so. So I'll just do a quick if statement. Again, I'm gonna copy this formula because I'm gonna need to use that for my other pivot. So I'll just hit okay. You'll see how it's showing all of them now. I'm gonna click on this one, go back to this. And again, paste the same formula because my column name is exactly the same. My formula is gonna be exactly the same. Press okay. And now that should happen for this one too. And at this point, if we choose anything other than all, it should filter to that person. And if we go back to all, it should basically just show all the options. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.